We're seeing the fallout all across the mainstream media of the current sale to Al Jazeera. And because mm. uh, Bill O'Reilly is an employee of Fox News, he's contractually obligated to down on it in some fashion. And he's deciding not just to talk about Al Jazeera, but Al Gore specifically. So we've got a couple of interesting quotes from Bill O'Reilly regarding the hypocrisy of Al Gore. Let's watch the first. Back in 1948, little Al Gore was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Yeah. And maybe, maybe it should have stayed there. His father, an oil man and a senator of the United States, raised Al in privilege. And with all the comforts, he became a champion of the left in adulthood, cashing in big time on the global warming issue. The former vice president used some of that money to then invest in a far left cable network that has been a colossal failure. And so Al and his merry men decided to sell that network. And according to the New York Times today, they wanted to close the deal last week to avoid the higher capital gains tax this year. Sounds like good business sense, right? All right, so I have many fun things to say just on that first clip. First of all, one of my favorite uh, Republican points is, well, if you're wealthy at some point, you should really be a jerk to everyone else and insist on more money for yourself. If you become a do-good liberal after you already have money, well, that would maybe make you a decent human being. And so they, I <laughs> a limousine liberal. Well, so you prefer the limousine conservatives who are like, I want all the money and I'm going to keep yep. it all for myself and I'm not going to do any good for anybody. Oh, well, congratulations. Well, these guys who fought Jimmy Carter tooth and nail every time he wanted to do anything regarding arms control with the Soviet Union, what they're asking for from people like Al Gore is unilateral disarmament. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. okay, we, you, the higher tax rates are there. Well, not for me. Only the left will pay a higher degree of taxes. I mean, look, yeah. the tax rates are there. Every businessman in the world is going to try and get in under the capital gains rate and get it at 15% to 20%. And by the way, it should be 35 Yeah, and uh, unlike the conservative, uh, selfish uh, folks like Bill O'Reilly, he's saying the rate should be higher. You yeah, should be, yeah. for whatever money I made off this, you should charge me. I'm actively fighting for you to charge me so much more. Second of all, this is a conspiracy theory. I have no idea if it's true that they were trying to get it the sale before the e year's end. They didn't. The sale was on January 2nd. Yeah. So this is all like conjecture, like, oh, since it was on January 2nd, they're actually paying higher taxes. That must mean that they were trying to pay lower taxes. But wait a minute. Well, <laughs> I, I don't even, if I don't they were think trying they that fall. hard, maybe they could have gotten it on December 31st. They, they could have been trying and failed. They I could mean, have. They possible. could have. But they have no evidence of that. Yeah, that's right? true. Right? In they, fact, they, the evidence is it closed on the next year where they paid higher taxes. I hope they tried to get it in on December <laughs> of 31st. Of course. I would do the same thing. Everybody would do the same thing. <laughs> right. Including Bill O'Reilly. Just because we think taxes should be higher so that we can build roads and bridges and hire cops and fire, et cetera, doesn't mean that we love taxes. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I want to pay more. I, I personally just, out of the goodness of my heart, paid 89% taxes. Yeah. That's not how it works. That's not how human beings react. And then uh, my other favorite part of this, the hypocrisy of their criticism is, ah, Karen, what a colossal failure that was. That's why Al Gore got so rich through that Sorry. enormous sale of current. But yeah. wait a minute, was it a failure or did he get rich? Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, two other, two other things that are ridiculous there. One, he had to sneak in that it was Al Gore and his merry men, apparently <laughs> implying that he's in business with homosexuals or something like that. <laughs> no, they, I, they just do a little, little dig. <laughs> but I like that. It's, no, it's a lot to be it's Robin Hood. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Um, right. And the second Good is for, that... Uh, is he Robin Hood or is he greedy? They, they, tides go in, go. tides go out. You can't explain it. <laughs> but I love also that, like, he, so he was the vice president. He gets out and he really wants to cash in on something. So he chooses to make a documentary about global warming. So that's clearly, <laughs> if you want to make big money, that's the thing you'd do. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes no sense. But we got more from O'Reilly. Yeah. Just two months ago, old Al gave an interview to the Reuters News Service and said this. The single most popular proposal w we had was to reduce taxes on working people and lift the higher rate. Let's give an incentive to work and let's ask the, the most fortunate in, in our society, including me and you, yep. uh, to, to, to do our fair share. Ah, oh, to do our fair share. Isn't that fascinating? So, what is our fair share? Well, I guess that means selling assets at the lower capital gains rate. Except, but does he believe he it or not? <laughs> he didn't do that. But uh, Fox News, as usual, you know how he says it's a spin-free zone? It's a fact-free zone. <laughs> so he takes the facts and actually spins them in the exact opposite direction.